guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this dramatic dark plum look. So if you want to learn, please keep watching. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start with my um, Ole Active Hydrating Moisturizer. It's this one right here. Now we're going to move on with our eyebrows. So we're going to start up with the eyebrows and then move on to the eyeshadow and lastly our face. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get our primer, which is the Milan eyeshadow primer that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and try that on both of my eyes. So the palette I'm using today will be the Modern Renaissance palette, same as the one I used in my last video. And I'm going to take a small uh, blending brush like this, and this one is from ELF. I'm going to take color Primavera, this one right here, and I'm going to take that and I like my bones for my eyebrows. Now we're going to go ahead and grab this uh, Sephora brush and it's color, I'm oh, sorry, it's number 19, precision brush uh, number 19. Uh, so I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to take, I'm going to take this uh, bright orange color right here and I'm going to use that apple crease. So that's going to be our first base color to start off with. So now I'm going to grab a Japanese brush and it's a blending brush as well and I'm going to go in with the, I'm not sure how you pronounce this right here, but it's a real, real go, real go. I'm going to call it real bar. it's real bar. So we're going to grab this Rogar color and we're going to use that color on the crease as well on top of our burnt orange. Umber, which is this color right here, it's gonna be like this uh, dark brown, and we're gonna apply that to the lid. Alright, so now that we both have, uh, we have uh, both eyes done, we're gonna move on to the eyeliner, uh, mascara, and eyelashes. So the eyeliner I'll be using today is it's an ink out ink liner by Kat Omni. So it's this one right here. And we're gonna continue on and put the wing liner on both eyes. Take up all the extra makeup that fell on your cheek or under your eye. Alright, guys, now that we did our eyeshadow, we're gonna continue on with our eyelashes. And the eyelashes I'm using today is by Huda Beauty, and it's a Style Sasha number 11. And they look like this beautiful eyelashes. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that um, with our eyelash glue, and the glue I'm using is by Ardell. So let's put those on. All 
Alright guys, so now that we have our um, eyelashes on, we're going to continue with our foundation. And the foundation I'm using is by, um, it's going to be the MAC Foundation, Studio Fix Fluid, and I'm color NC40. So we're going to continue with the foundation. Now we're gonna move on to our concealer, and I'm using Tarte's concealer. This is a light medium. Okay, now I'm gonna move on with our MAC Invisible Powder, and I'm gonna grab my uh, Real Techniques brush to apply that. And you just want to go ahead and grab a little bit of product and just set your concealer in. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to go ahead and apply um, the Zippers Umber color, this dark brown, and I'm going to grab a small uh, Japanese brush and apply that to the uh, bottom of my eyes uh, below our waterline. Alright, so once you apply uh, that brown color, we're going to go ahead and move on with our um, eyeliner. So I'm going to apply an uh, eyeliner to the eyes. Now we're going to move on with our Maybelline Mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, mascara to the bottom lashes. Okay, so once you're done with your bottom uh, eyelashes, we're going to move on with the bronzer. I'm using color uh, Blunt from MAC. MAC Makeup. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our lips and the color I'm using today is by Too Faced in color Berry Naughty. So we're going to go ahead and apply that color. Alright guys, that concludes the look. We're going to finish it off by spraying our next dewy finish. And I hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys try it. I know this is a little bit more dramatic, but it's a fun color to play with. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.